you ever run more than one operating system, it usually means installing a bootloader and playing around first trying this operating system first and that operating system, and then Windows takes over everything. Bad. Frustrating. Very. Irritating. Yes, you have a solution for us? We have an interesting, this is an odd idea, a company called Romtech. It's called the Trios. They have the Trios and the Trios 2, right? We have the Trios 2 is sitting outside of here. We have this fabulous little external remote controller. Can we see that on there? So it takes a PCI card in there, and the remote control allows us to switch between three hard drives to configure both the master and the slave configurations. That's about 70 bucks right there. Now, inside the computer over here on my left, I have the Trios 1. So I'm going to put this down. This sits in a five and a quarter inch drive bay. Can you see that there? It's got three buttons up on the front of it. You pick a button, it boots to that hard drive. It's kind of interesting. It's, it's actually more problematic. I'm going to spin it around. You can see in the back of here, it's basically one IDE cable goes out and down to your motherboard IDE, and the rest of it, it's really dark inside of there, and I'd tilt it, or I'd probably have the monitor come back off, and there's actually three IDE cables for up to three different hard drives. The idea is you can have three separate different people that each boot into a different hard drive or three different operating systems. Can it's, you have a master and a slave with the Trios one? Uh, with the Trios one, no. Okay. Basically, you get to choose that drive, and, and if there's three drives connected onto there, you get access to that drive. The other two drives are, are dead, are locked out, You can't out, see them protected. at all. You can't write them Exactly. Down okay. If you want to transfer files between them, you need either another hard drive on the system, or you need to go pony up the extra 20 bucks for the Trios, too. You could plug another hard drive straight into the ID on the motherboard, yeah. and then be able to see it with any of the operating systems you boot from? Exactly. Okay. It's pretty, basically, what this is is an ABC switch for hard drives, Okay. which is pretty cool. The thing yeah. is, is, what's interesting about it, it's, it makes installing multiple operating systems really simple, as long as you're willing to buy, you know, two extra hard drives right. and, you know, basically load them up. Hard drives really aren't expensive these days, anyway. Yeah, well, it's, you know, $50, to say it's $200 yeah. versus spending an afternoon trying to figure out how to run a boot motor. The flip side, though, is it does a nice job. If you want to separate stuff, if you want to have different loads that are completely and utterly separate, so you don't have to worry about it. If you want to put the four-year-old or Rex's 20-month-old. 20-month-old. 20-month-old one, like a $2,000 computer? Yeah. What's a 20-month-old going to do with a $3,000 iBook? Drool on it. Yeah. Get it sticky. Maybe you can get the camper an iBook. Anyhow, <laughs> it's an interesting concept. Uh, it worked. Yeah. That's the really funny part. Was it a pretty easy installation? It was a pretty easy installation. The thing I did notice that's really odd is you can see on this cable, and I think this is what's doing it. See where they have the little pin punched out of there? You can barely see it. There's a little missing spot there. You can kind of see my black shirt through there. And as near as I can tell, that prevents you from actually installing an operating system to any hard drive or overriding any hard drive that's connected to the Trios. So if you want to install an operating system, you have to take it off of the Trios, just put it straight on your motherboard, install the operating system, then... Yeah. Oh, that's kind of a pain. Well, I tried installing BSD, and it wouldn't install, and I was like, okay, I'll try Chustix, and I'll try Smoothwall, and I couldn't get anything to install, and a couple other things. And eventually I realized that I had to plug it directly into the motherboard. So I think that's a, I think that's a feature, though, not a bug. In that it protects your hard drive. <laughs> it's a weird feature. <laughs> it's a weird little feature. It took about 10 minutes to install. Again, in this case, five and a quarter inch drive bay. We did most of our testing with this one. Install it, plug the cables in, plug the, they basically bundle. It's nice. They bundle all the power cables you need and all of the IDE well, cables you need. You have to use their special there. cables, right? Yeah. Well, it was kind of nice. You could use any cable. Yeah. One problem, though, is if you have a giant, you know, tower case, this is not going to be enough IDE cable <laughs> to get you from point A to point no, B. No, it's not. So you may have to invest in some longer cables if you have a bigger system. Or you can duct tape your drives to the top of the case, which is a big, I like, big plus. I like using the screws better than duct tape, I think. That's because you're a professional and I am oh, yes. a grossly under-talented amateur. What about other IDE devices? Didn't really experiment too much with yeah. those, but in theory, it can control. Basically, it's an ABC switch for anything you can connect to an IDE or an ATA cable. So if you can connect it to here, the Trios and the Trios 2 should be able to switch between it pretty seamlessly. Yeah, but that's not really what it's for, I guess. Well, turning mm -hmm. on your zip drive. That's like saying a Xbox isn't for loading anything you want onto it. <laughs> it's all interpretation. Not a bad idea. You don't want to spend the extra money for hard drives. Learn how to run your bootloader and reload operating systems over and over again. If you want the convenience of having everything on separate drives, nothing fighting with each other, not dealing with hellish partition issues, Romtech Trios, not a bad idea. And the price really isn't that bad either. 50 bucks for the Trios, 70 bucks for the Trios too. Full details up at the Romtech on the Trios, uh, up at the screensavers.com.